All right, hello everybody. I'm gonna show you how to change your setup from a DC CDI box to a AC CDI box. So this scooter over here, this, this engine block, it's actually originating from a DC direct current uh, setup. So it also comes with a DC CDI. However, this CDI over here is a Chinese Tao Tao 49cc uh, AC CDI. <laughs> And in order to let it work with, you know, uh, a DC setup, you have to change the coil. So this is the original coil. Uh, as you can see, there's usually only two wires coming out, uh, which is a yellow one and a white one, together with the blue one for the pulse, pulse wire, you know. So you have three. But in the case of the Tao Tao Chinese one, the AC ones, uh, which I can show you right here there's four wires so you have the blue one the red one for the power for the CDI the yellow one and the white one so what I did is I changed the coil from uh, the original coil with only uh, three wires to uh, the Chinese coil with four wires and then I used this uh, wiring from the original scooter from the DC scooter I take the CDI box from the Tao Tao and what I do is basically I hook up most of the same wires except for the the red one because in DC in DC in the case of DC this this power is only generated by the battery so uh, this is the AC CDI box and it doesn't run by the power from the battery but just power from the coil so what I did is you know hook up everything like it's supposed to be with the normal wiring and then except for the red wire this one this is original and then take the one from the coil which is extra now and stick it right in there and then once you do all of that it should uh, power up also what I didn't explain yet is usually with the AC CDI the only uh, cables that really matter are only like four cables and it's usually uh, universal depending on the scooter most of the coloring of the coil uh, cables they're the same so you here you got your, bl your blue and yellow co uh, cable this one is the pulse generator inside of the coil um, yeah, they're both the same and then you have the ground which is the green one and you get the black with yellow one is the cable going straight to the to the ignition plug is it's this one here you go uh, and then finally you've got the red one from the coil to this to this place over here but there are different types of AC CDI boxes and you always need to know the the location of the wiring so where do the uh, the wires go in in your uh, specific CDI box so in this case I had a, um, this one laying around and I actually have a <coughs> Tao Tao over here and you can see actually the original cabling so this is the original wiring for the CDI box and here, again here the well in this case let me get some more light so in this case we got a, a red with white which is actually the same cable as the blue with yellow, so it's just a pulse care giver. This other blue cable is only for speed limiter, so you don't really need that one if you don't want to speed limit it. Then the green cable is the ground, which is uh, so you can easily remember where to put ground. Uh, and this black cable with yellow, remember, this is for the spark, so it's going to the spark coil. And then um, that's what you got and then the last cable is over here in the small uh, socket it's the the red with uh, black cable this is the power cable from the coil this uh, feeds the electricity into the city eye box so as long as you just follow this uh, order of cables in the new setup everything's gonna be fine just like here this one is was the uh, the pulse generator ground, uh, spark plug coil, and finally you get the power uh, cable from the coil. So now I hooked up the battery to the, 
the negative one, like the the frame ground, you know, the ground. And then the positive one, I'm gonna hook up to the positive one with the starting motor. And over here I got my uh, my spark plug to check it out. So we're gonna hook up the battery to there. I hooked all of the CDI together just like I explained. And I'm gonna check if we got spark. You see, now I got spark. So that's good. So it shows that you can actually use the wiring for a normal uh, DC scooter as long as you make sure that the extra red wire from the from the Tau Tau coil, the non-original coil, goes into the CDI box directly. And then for the most part, you just hook it up originally and everything, well everything, at least you get spark. So that's what you want, is the most important.